Hello, and welcome back to another video. I'm Zipper Spark, and you're watching my barely modded IC2 Let's Play series. Now, in this episode, um, I wanted to do a couple things with the crops, but um, I didn't want to make the next several videos 100% doing the crops because um, if you're not interested in that, it's just going to be annoying, and I don't purposely tried to be annoying to everybody so yeah so what I'm gonna do is um, go over some of the things I did so I've been crossbreeding these pumpkins a bit um, and I've gotten a couple of the seed bags that drop from the pumpkins I made two more um, solar arrays um, I got rid of the, the uh, generator that was in there um, bred a couple cows, um, did a little bit of mining, not much, but a um, couple things that we did. So, oh yeah, you can see in the chat, I was slain by an enderman. Um, I mean, that wasn't my first death, I've died other times as well. I've just been erasing, because I... I'm not saving the the waypoints for all my deaths this time. I've done that in the past, but I'm not worried about that. Um, but you can see there's a cave spider spawner that I found um, down in the mines. There's run through some caves, and you get to abandoned mine shaft, and in there there's a cave spider spawner that I found. So I marked it so we can go back and use it if we need to but um first thing i wanted to go over these so the crop analyzer i did charge it up all the way and um i got my battery all charged up too take my hoe out let's get these yeah so um the crossbreeding um well, I'll show you that in a bit. So the crop analyzer, I wanted to do these. It says it's pumpkin. And it's tier one. And it's orange decorative and has a stem. And growth two, gain zero, resistance two. Okay, not terrible. Dandelion. Interesting. That was all done. All right. Pumpkins. Green gain three. Okay. Well, so you can see, um, I mean, agricraft or what is it? Yeah, I think it's agricraft is um kind of the other you know using the crop sticks and growing the things and cross breeding them and stuff like that um it's the other one i'm used to a lot and so it looks like that's kind of the way it is with this um the one of the main differences is um you have this handheld item rather than the, the seed analyzer that's a you know block in the world that you use um and the seeds you can't necessarily like you're not guaranteed a seed drop when you break this um so if i were to right click all these then it would harvest the pumpkins for me you know as you see you're not always getting one but i mean i've got enough pumpkins i don't need more yeah well, it's two almost a stack and a half but so say I wanted to crossbreed these. Let's pull these off. See that got us seeds there for the seed bags. Other than that, we got some seeds. Um, so if we get the sticks. Oh, 
Oh, and then we got the... ...these already. So yeah, you just kind of sit up here and just wait. Um, once it's either, and if you right click on here, you can see um, there's crop size three of four. If it's three of four or four of four, and the four of four is when they're you know ready to be harvested, um, they can crossbreed. Um, and so see here, we already got one over here. It's a pumpkin, it says. Um, Yeah, so just let them grow up, and then, then once these two here are capable of crossbreeding, then you uproot these ones and crossbreed there. So, yeah, that's just kind of what I've been doing um, on and off. Um, I don't want, actually, don't want the. I'm gonna do other stuff for a while. I don't want this. Uh, a bunch of weeds and if you let them go I don't know if the weeds will spread to the good crops so I'd rather just you know not chance it we got two of these to analyze pumpkin All right, so this looks like the my best one on the game. So, yeah, put those away. All right, so let's get this out. We'll put the hoe back. All right, so I'm running low on iron. I only got the this. Um, I don't have any more ore. Well, I do have oh, that's lead. I thought that was iron for a bit. Um, but I wanted to go over this wa ore washing plant. Um, the compressor would be nice too, but the ore washing plant actually will, like if you look at the uses, um, if you put... Okay, so for example with the silver. If I put a silver, a crushed silver ore in, I will get a purified crushed silver ore out, plus two tiny piles of silver dust and some stone dust. If I get nine of those, then I can make an extra silver dust. So it's giving you a bit extra per ore. Um, so it just kind of extends your um, yeah, ex extends your capability of of the the, the, the yeah the ores. Um, so crushing them with the macerator already gives you double. Um, and so that's kind of like two and a half almost. So you get, uh, yeah, two ores and then four tiny piles. So it's almost another half an ore per ore. All right, so I calculated it up. I think I only need 25 um, for that, but we will need two buckets. There is... I don't think you can hear that, but there's some weird noises in the background here. I'm going to have to investigate that. Hang on just a second. I'm back. Everything is okay. It was just, uh, just some laughing going on. People being silly. I reminded them of the recording. So hopefully they'll be quiet this time. Um, but anyway, so we need... We need our copper, so yeah, let's crush up some copper. Um, and we need one of those. Let's see. Actually, we'll need three, four more, I think. So if you look at this, we need three plates up here. This is eight plates, so that's um you know 11 and then in here there's one more so that's the 12 these need ingots okay uh we will need a couple tin i think just the two right 
We need two motors. Each motor is two tin casings. Yeah, so that should be enough there. All right, and these are so loud. Sorry, guys. Slightly quieter, at least. Go ahead and cook those. Right. Now, if you notice, with my three uh, solar arrays, each one gives eight um, EU per tick. And so this, I'm, I'm producing the 24. This uses a bit, um, you know, not very much. But I'm really, I'm not actually using that right now. So I will just, you know, break the connection to it. Um, and then it will slowly lose power. And all of this power is going to go straight over to here. And each of these end up using, the like the macerator and the furnace, use, I think, eight each. Um, but the metal former actually uses 16. Um, and so, oh, and it's nighttime, not getting any power at all. Yeah, so I, I am kind of barely able to keep up if I'm not using too many of my machines at once. So I do want to work on that as well. I know there is some, um, power storage options. Um, the simplest is going to be the bat box, I think. So, not the charge pad version. Yeah, this guy. So, it just takes three batteries, a tin cable, and some wood. Um, and it can store, like it says, 40,000 EU. So, what I could do is put that in the middle. Um, I need a bit more tin for that. I can... Crush up some more. Where's it all going? That's full. Um. My power is being generated, but not going anywhere. Weird. All right, let's try this again. All right, that's full. That's full. That's working. And that's full. Okay. So I don't know what was up with them. Okay. Let's hammer these out. We're going to need to cook some of our copper. Okay, so, um, what are we doing this one first? So, we don't have the cables for that yet. Um, but we have, yeah, we need, we just need a bunch of copper, it looks like. Okay, well, I'll put this back in there. So, yeah, be back when I've got the copper all cooked up. Well, and extruded. 
Okay, I've got um, a bunch of them extruded. I do need just two coils, I believe. Um, let me double check. Oh no, two coils per motor, so I'll need, yeah, I'll need more extruded. Um, which means I need more... Yeah. One, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, yeah, should be enough. We might end up with a little extra, but... Alright, so we got the first one, I guess, ready to go. One motor, we can make, uh, mm. not yet. Make that. Mm. That's one motor, which we will need. One, we can get less. go we'll take that mm. recipe off okay mm. so let's look at this um we shall pop it up here okay so ore washing um looks like we need water to it um probably want to look at a way to get water in um they do have So let's pop this through. Oh, it uses quite a bit. So while the macerator is running. All right, nothing else is running. And we are increasing power. Okay, so it's at least less than 24. Okay, tiny pile, purified stone. Now, what can we use the stone for? We can mix it with sand and clay to make CF powder. The CF powder with water makes construction foam. Okay. And then with that, we can do... Oh, we do some weird things. If I remember right. Oh, yeah, pump. Let's see, a pump. So, mining pipe, universal fluid. Yeah, we can make that. We just don't have the iron for it. So, um, yeah, let's. I'm going to have to go mining. Um, in the meantime, um, well, I guess you guys will just wait here in the pause yeah so i'll be back when i got some more iron okay i'm back i have nearly a stack of iron ore so i'm going to throw that in my macerator um this is you know washing away i guess i need a couple more buckets for it to finish off so yeah this will finish off the copper there um and then the so I need eight there, another one there. These actually have since we've made some before for the mining machine there. Um, another tree tap which we can make real quick. Um, just get logs here. Actually, let's swap that real quick there. And go. 
go. Oh, running out of power. Because this machine takes a lot. Ah, yeah, so uh, that's the other thing I was going to do is the bat box. Um, so that's tin, a bunch of tin. So we'll have to process the tin. Um, three batteries, which as we've seen is, is more just tin. So we're going to need probably more than that. All right, so yeah, let me process a bunch of this ore and I'll be back. All right, so I made the batteries and I got the bat box ready to go. So let's get it out and I think I will need a spot here. So if you look, it is, it can output 32, okay. Um, so yeah, I've got what, 24 coming in and yeah, so it's, it's increasing it there. Okay. Well, so now this will act as a little buffer of energy. So it'll help, you know, extend the night a little bit longer and things like that. Um, and then there are the higher versions. There's, um, I guess it's not there. I think the MFB. Yeah. Oh, that's the tier three version. Um, MFSU, not X. That is, oh, tier four. Is there... Tier two. That box is tier one. MFSU is tier four. Oh, okay, there we go. The CESU. These guys. So they take bronze, advanced batteries, and copper. Yeah, okay. So don't quite have that stuff yet but the, as you can see here um, and then this I can use to um, you know quickly charge up my tools and things um, speaking of which I think yeah I did make this a diamond drill um, you just put three diamonds on it so not too big of a deal there um, all right so I got the batteries um, the pump. That's what we're waiting for. So we need uh, more iron. There we go. Rolling. That should give us. There's seven. Eight. That is the machine casing. Now we need another one for the yeah, another one for the, um, the circuit. Um, what else did we need? Uh, some more tin. Alright, we got the tin there. So we need to extrude the copper. All right, so be back in a bit. All right, finally got the copper extruded. That should give me a circuit the casing. And what else? Uh, these. Oh, I forgot to extrude these. Or roll them, rather. Alright. Uh, um, yeah, and then I've got the glass panes. 
for these. All right, so yeah. Apologize. Now we just need to wait for the tin. There's our tin. Now. Wait. Oh, this is all. I need another. Now we should have all the tin. Come on, recipe. All right, and pump. Yay! Okay, um. Not exactly sure how this works. Let's pretend it has to be over top of. Mm, these aren't placeable. So, over top of an infinite water source is not a thing. Maybe if it was inside. Oh, and I didn't use the wrench, and it. This is what happens when you break it without using the wrench. You get the casing back and all the work you did to make everything else that goes with it, like these, are gone. All right, so I remade my pump and I moved the washing plant over here. Um, so you need to have it in the same level of the water and then it, the, the vent grate needs to face the water, like we, we see, and then it will go ahead and, and fill it up. Now what we want, we want to get the water from here into here. And we could do that by throwing buckets in, and it would fill up the buckets for us. And then we put the buckets in here, and have the things go back and forth. But we've got this fluid ejector upgrade, which take some tin plates and a motor or you can make nine by doing the dense tin plates and a motor well, I don't have enough to make the dense plates um, for two reasons I don't have the compressor and I don't have all the, the tin ready to go so we're just gonna do a single that's really all we need right now anyways so that makes the ejector upgrade And then it's going to automatically pump over here. So we get the crushed ore, we plop it in here, I guess this side, and then it is automatically going to go for us. So, um, yeah, we could get the, could move it over one, I guess, but uh, um, yeah, this is going on by itself. You can see it, it's super slow. And uh, here it goes. Bing. And then as we saw, it just filled it back up. And this pump was ready to go. So we've got all the water and everything we need. So we got this automated. We just need to put the crushed ore in here. Um, so what we could do is we could put um, one of there's um, other ejectors. So one of these. It, um, with a piston and then the, the tin plates and then we could put the you know the macerator here and it would automatically put the you know the crushed ore in and then it would you know work that way so we definitely could do it that way um, or we could do um, a, a, you know other more complicated setups as well but um, I think that is gonna be all for today um, we did get the ore washing plant set up uh, with a pump um, we made a bat box and we went over you know how you do the cross breeding here um, and since 
I've got to wait for the video to render anyways. I will probably, you know, hook this back up and go ahead um, and start going there. Um, it would be nice if I had a way of getting the water into here too. But, unfortunately, in this pack, because IC2 doesn't have pipes um, by itself, um, and there's no, you know, well, at least not that I could find, there may very well be. There's no simple, um, here's a mod that adds, you know, generic pipes to IC2. So, if you know of one, let me know, and I will throw it in. But, um, until next time, I hope you have a wonderful time, and uh, if, you if you like the episode, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!